What's good, world? What's good, world? Ernest in the building. Ernest in the building. Peace and God bless. Uh, I had to remake this video because a lot of people couldn't hear what I was saying earlier. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what was going on in this story that I heard earlier. But before I do this story, I would like y'all to like, share, subscribe, comment, and give me your feedback of what you think about this story. Now, you know, this is crazy because, you know, us as people, you know, we meet, you know, different people online each and every day, especially the kids. You know, the kids got it bad. Well, to the point where, you know, uh, a lot of kids, you know, they stay on their phones. They, uh, they play on their phones. Half of the time, you know, we, we can't even eat at the table because, you know, we all on our phones. And sometimes our phones can be, you know, the reason that, you know, we go into our own death and we walk into, you know, other things that's, you know, that's, that, that, that'll get us in a lot of trouble. But before I tell the story, I want you guys to understand, you know, this happens every day. This just don't happen, you know, every so often. It happens all the time. So just bear with me. <clears throat> Woman tries to eat her man's penis in Orlando, Florida. Now, she's from Florida. Her name is Priscilla Vaughn. Uh, they have charged her. She's 29 years old. They charged her with attempted murder for uh, chewing a man's penis off that she met online. She chewed his genitals off so bad, so severely, that he needed surgery. They met online where she, listed, she was listed as an escort. Now, what was his intentions of meeting her online to be, you know, listed as an escort? You don't know her. You don't know what she's on. You don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you know, you had to be that desperate just to meet her online as an escort. Now, she was listed as an escort online after a romantic dinner at Applebee's. So I guess she knew it was a romantic dinner at Applebee's. That was something that you would probably, you know, take your girlfriend out or somebody that you first meet on a date or something like that. But, you know, hey, guys will do anything to just, to, you know, do what they want to do. Okay, now here we go. After a romantic dinner at Applebee's, the pair consumed ecstasy, alcohol, and marijuana before going back to the hotel room. That's when Vine started biting the 30-year-old man's penis and genitals, causing him to bleed heavily. The man told deputies that it appeared as if Vaughn tried to eat his penis and testicles. Now, something like that, you know, it appeared that she tried to eat his penis and testicles. Now, from there, you're going to look at it and be like, well, damn, you know, how did I just get myself up into this? Now, she not already chewed it and she was doing everything she, was, she can to it. But wait till you guys really, you know, wait, wait until you really finish it in this story. He said he tried to fight her off. But she was too powerful. Now, you know, I don't know what she had. It did say she assumed ecstasy, you know, uh, marijuana, alcohol, and all these other kind of drugs. So they said she was so powerful she tried gouging his eyes out after biting and scratching the man's legs, abdominal chest, and fingers. Damn. I, don't know what this, I mean, shit, that sounds like some dead of dead, land of the dead type of shit. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Priscilla Vaughn took his car keys and broke his phone. He ended up locking himself in the bathroom until help arrived. Now, must I remind you, you know, this he took her to a motel. You know, this, you know, allegedly, this is what the story was telling me that he took her to a motel. And this is what's supposed to be going on. Luckily, after the hotel guests heard screaming and growling, screaming and growling. Like, this is like some scary shit. Screaming and growling. Rah. I mean, just imagine. You know, I already got chewed on and everything. Then they got your eyes gouged out. Now you screaming and you you growling. So, you know, you don't know what this woman is on. You know what I'm saying? They said she was an escort. This is everything that I'm reading from the report. This is all everything. This is what the neighbors heard. You know what I'm saying? That's in the hotel room. Screaming and growling coming from the room. Vaughn, still, she was still there. When the police arrived, naked, screaming and growling with blood coming from her mouth. Sound like some laying of the dead, dead of the dead bullshit. They really do. But this is the kind of things that, not all, 
but most and some people put ourselves through. We put ourselves through these kind of situations where we want to go and get a good time. We meet a, a bad lady, you know. You know, people all behind cameras, man. You know, shit, people be posting other people's pictures and everything. We don't know what the hell is going on. All we want to do is have fun, and we want what we want. That's how it be. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how this shit be happening, unfortunately. You know, hopefully the, you know, the guy still got some of his nuts, you know, got some of his balls left. You know, hopefully he still got some left. You know, she didn't chew everything off. Me personally, you know what I'm saying? I probably wouldn't want to be here no more. I'm just dead serious about that, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, it's a crazy story. You guys, you know, you, you can do your own research. All I want you to, you know, do is, you know, take care of yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Get some air. Get some sunlight. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we in the matrix of the world. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, you know, how time has evolved. And it evolved through social media. You know what I'm saying? And this is like... Everybody's like, this is like life, basically. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, is we need to still protect our children through this. Because at the end of the day, the children go through it the most. You know, with, with all the stuff that's going on, you know, with, you know, everything is okay to say now. And, you know, murder, death, kill, that's, that's fine to do. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't, man. And then it's like us, you know, we, 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 we accept it. You know what I'm saying? These is our heroes, you know, celebrities and all this. I don't think so. Not mass. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got my own thing that I'm going to talk about. You know, it ain't got to be, you know, nothing big or anything. But this is the kind of thing I talk about. You know, social media and how everything get through social media. And how everything is fake. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Ryan Hogan, how you doing, brother? Yeah. It's real crazy. But... You know, we as human beings, we have to sometimes evolve yourself from around the matrix because that's what it is. You know, it, it, it comes to a point where, you know, you got to look good and you got to, you got to, you, you, you got to look a certain way in order for to be accepted in the world. And it's crazy. And it shouldn't have to be that way. It definitely shouldn't have to be that way. We should always definitely welcome each other's ideas, opinions, and stories. Because we all come from a different background, and we all come from a different set of rules, and how we was raised as children, and, you know, what was good, what was bad, who we should vote for. You know, there's nobody out there for us but us. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm not going to keep my life too long. I just wanted to, you know, get this out there, guys. You know, do your own research about it. And, you know, just, you know, give me your feedback. Like I said, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment. And, you know, help me grow my page. You know, it helps to, you know, help another person out. With that, peace and God bless.